Hey, it's Greg Otten here with MaritimeGardening.com and I had a viewer question and I started typing up the answer and then I just thought, you know what, it'd probably be easier just to show. And there's probably other people that have that question. And it, uh, the question's about mulch and, and gardening with mulch. And uh, this, this viewer, uh, Dave, uh, was watching, I think, commenting on my video where I, I, I commented how I planted my parsnips in the fall, put some mulch over them, and then they just came up in the spring on their own. And he asked, if the mulch is supposed to suppress weeds, how is it that your parsnips find their way up through a mulch? That's a really good question. And the answer is not, uh, I'm going to have a multi, <laughs> a nuanced answer to that, okay? Now remember, I don't sell mulch. <laughs> so, <laughs> if you're getting your information from someone and they're selling you the solution to a problem, probably not that genuine. I'm not selling you anything, okay? And there's plenty of other YouTubers talking about using mulch. They're doing that because it works, okay? Um, look at this garden here. This, is a, this was a garlic garden. And last fall, I planted garlic bulbs under the ground. And I put about a foot of uh, spoiled hay. This isn't hay here. This is uh, the garlic stalks. They're hard neck garlic. Um, anyway, most of this hay is just about gone. But you can tell, just looking at this, there's hardly any weeds at all, right? The only weed is, I got one, a little bit of um, Timothy growing here. It's actually growing in the, in the walking path. And, and Timothy is an incredibly resilient weed, but what I'll say is that some things will come through and some things will not. For instance, uh, garlic, if you've got like six inches of mulch, will go right through it unless, the, <laughs> unless you're mulching with uh, plates of steel or something like that. Garlic has no problem pushing through a mulch. Um, Really, depending on the size of the seed and, and the, the, actually the shape of the plant, some, some plants have like a spear that they push and they find their way up. Think about how things grow in a forest, right? Um, all the uh, leaves and stuff fall down, and to some extent the leaves keep uh, certain things from growing, like grasses. Right? Any part of a forest that's got leaves all over the ground, usually you don't see too much grass growing there. Leaves seem to do a great job in preventing grass. Think, of, think about this garden right here. This is all mulched with hay. And I can tell you, I can even see it right now, there is grass seeds everywhere because this isn't straw, this is hay. Right? And so it has all the seeds. Uh, but for some reason, grass likes to, you know, it doesn't seem to like uh, too much mulch on top of it. It just doesn't seem to. If I, if, let's say I pulled all the mulch off and just left it, next year this would be a, all grass. <laughs> so I keep adding mulch, it will prevent it. So certain things can come through the mulch and certain things can't or they have a difficult time doing it. So if there's no mulch at all, everything's got no problem at all, right? <laughs> Until your soil gets really dry, right? But by then, any really tough resilient weeds, right? They germinate in the spring when there's rain and, uh, and, and you know, the mulch isn't needed quite so much, right? And then by the time uh, July and August rolls around, and it's getting very dry, their roots are so deep it doesn't matter that the surface of the soil is dried out. Um, so the most important thing is to have your mulch on heavy in the spring to prevent a lot of those things from germinating. Um, but some things have no problem coming through it. And also it depends on the depth, right? So when I put a mulch down over the, uh, uh, the parsnips, I only put it about a, an inch thick, maybe two inches thick, not too thick, right? Um, so it, it depends. It depends on what you're growing, how it grows, and so on. And it's just a question. I'm not an expert on this yet, but some things can come up through a heavier mulch than others. Potatoes will come through a foot of mulch, no problem, right? Now, if, if I planted uh, parsnips and put a foot of mulch on top of them, there, there would be no parsnips the following year. <laughs> they just wouldn't find their way through that. The seed doesn't have enough energy to keep going up through all of that. Um, now, all that being said, the mulch doesn't pre prevent 100% of weeds, right? You're still going to get some weeds. It's going to happen, but it does keep it down. So I'm going to take you and show you another garden here. So this is a garden where I had a ridiculously heavy mulch on, so I had almost no weeds. And as long as I fill this up again this fall, I'm actually going to plant uh, strawberries here to, uh, really soon. Uh, but once I've done that, I'm going to mulch it really heavily to prevent weeds. Here I am in my beet garden. And uh, this was mulch. Not only was it, was it mulched by grass, but in between the rows I had uh, strips of cardboard that really did a great job of uh, suppressing the weeds. 
but the spaces where I actually had the seeds, the, the soil was relatively exposed. I mulched it and stuff like that, but I did get some weeds. And you can see there's there's grass. If you look here, right? There's grass growing in with that. Um, but for the most part, right, the mulch prevents like 95% of the weeds that want to grow. So even though there's grass in with my uh, beets, right, I'm still getting some nice beets, right? And some of the, some of my beets here are four inches in diameter, despite there being some weeds. And another thing about having a mulch, here's a good spot to show, is that on camera? Is that because the mulch keeps the soil moist and it keeps the soil from getting compacted, um, the weeds aren't hard to pull, right? They just they just come out. You now that came out roots and all. So when you do weed, you just you just you just pull it and you, you give it a shake and you, and you just throw it on top. And now it's now, now that weed's a mulch again. <laughs> so it's really not that hard. The weeds come out uh, very easily. It's actually easier to pull them if you let them grow a bit, right? That way the roots uh, have some strength. It's it's hard. It's actually hard to manage the weeds when they're tiny. I, I like to just let them almost achieve a good size and then they come out very easily. But yeah, I mean, I got I got beads growing right in amongst these this grass, a little bit of grass, because the soil in the strip where I planted the beads was bare. So all the grass seed in here, all it needs is some a bit of sun on the soil and it'll start growing like crazy. If you keep it covered, it just won't. Maybe it's not warm enough or the conditions aren't right or whatever. But despite the fact, here's a beet here, there's grass growing all around it. And here, I'll, I'll pull it out and show you the size. A nice beet, despite there being grass all over the place. Because even though there's a little bit of grass around the weed, the majority of the area is mulched and covered. So um, the roots, you know, are getting, the, you know, this beet is getting the, the majority of the nutrients are in the soil, right? And the, uh, there's not a lot of weeds growing, so every, you know, there isn't a pile of weeds pulling all the water and nutrients out of the soil. There's only a handful, and it's totally manageable. I really don't weed uh, until the fall. When I, in the fall, when I mulch my gardens and sort of put them down for the winter, that's when I pull all the weeds. But a, a garden this size, 4 by 10, um, I can weed a garden like this in five minutes. <laughs> right? That's how little weeds are in a garden like this. Just five minutes and it's done. Not hard. And I really don't worry about it right until that time of year. I don't worry about the weeds uh, for the most part. You know, unless I've got... Uh, I've done some videos on this. If i got a garden that just... You know, I didn't mulch it. Usually if I don't mulch a garden properly, uh, the weeds might get out of control. If I'm a bit lazy with getting the mulch on, then the weeds will get a foothold. Uh, but all the gardens that I, I manage well, and just you know, spend an extra five minutes or something like that, um, you get results like this with almost no work. If you look here, i got a beautiful zucchini garden. There's some really yeah, let's pull one of these babies here. Nice zucchini coming out, right? Uh, I haven't weeded this once. Um, I really haven't done, I haven't watered it, I haven't weeded it, I haven't done anything in this garden uh, all summer long. <laughs> I just come out and pick zucchini and make relish and eat them and give them to my friends, right? Um, and despite the fact that this is the, the mulch on this garden was laid down last fall. Right? I haven't mulched, I haven't done anything to this. All I did when I planted the zucchini was make a little hole in the mulch and stick a seed in the ground and water it a bit until it got started then I moved the mulch back done. Hardly any weeds here. There's a couple right so right here there's a I see some grass. This might even be sweet grass. Let's pull that out. Some grass growing there. Right. And I uh, see a little uh, is it blackberry? There's oh, <laughs> I have a problem with blackberries in my garden. <laughs> there's a blackberry over there and a little bit of sympathy, sympathy here and there. And because I, I let a parsnip go to seed, there's probably a million parsnip seeds in here. <laughs> right, there's some of them right there. Um, but for the most part, there's, there's really, and I, can, I can see some sorrel over there um, and a little bit of timothy over there, but generally speaking, it's a zucchini garden and that's the sort of situation you want to set up, right, where uh, the thing that you want to grow is the thing that's really running the place, right? So this is a zucchini bed. Zucchini are running the show here. Yeah, there's the odd weed and thing like that. There's a little bit of... Uh, this is sorrel, I believe. Um, yeah, it's sorrel. Um, there's a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but when you look at this, all you see is zucchini. 
<laughs> and the weeds really aren't running the show and their, their, their impact is so minimal relative to uh, the thing that's running the garden, it's, it's not even worth bothering with them. I don't bother weeding my gardens this time of year. It's too hot anyway. <laughs> Here's a potato garden and uh, you know, there's a bit of Timothy, right? Growing there, and uh, there's some sorrel, same, same as the zucchini bed. But mostly, I mean, the potatoes have sort of died, they're ready to be picked now. But right up until very recently, all you saw here was potatoes. Potatoes are running the show, it's a potato garden, it's a potato kingdom, and, and the, uh, the little, uh, you know, pesky, odd little weed is, they're superfluous to the endeavor, right? They're not running the show. Another thing I should mention is that one of the benefit of a mulch is if, if you, you know you know a lot of uh, weed seeds that are airborne they fly through the air and they land and they can't get down into the soil. They'll land on top of the mulch and just bake in the sun. Now if you have enough rains and enough seasons and so on, yeah sure the seed will eventually find its way down in, right? But generally speaking this time of year, right, the weed's just going to land and stay on top of the mulch and it's not going to get in a situation where it can germinate. Now, if you leave that all winter, you know, the rain and the snow and all that, that will eventually push some weed seeds down and they will germinate. But that's why you add another layer of mulch to prevent that sort of thing from happening, right? Anyway, I hope that answered your question and, and other people that may have asked the same question. Some, some kinds of seeds can find their way through, some kinds can't. Seeds that come down out of the sky, many of them just stay on top. They don't find their way down to the soil where they can get moist and stay moist and, and have the conditions they need to germinate. So it prevents airborne seeds from germinating. Uh, certain seeds that germinate beneath the soil can't find their way through, and some can. And when they do, you, you pull them. Or like I did in my beet garden, you just ignore them and don't worry about it. <laughs> really depends on uh, what it is and how much there is and, and what's, you know, what's going on in the situation. But, the moral of the story is keep the soil covered, keep the mulch on, right? And uh, weeds won't be that much of a problem. I hope that helped and I hope that uh, answers your question. And uh, if you found this useful, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Check out my podcast, MaritimeGardening.com. Until next time, get out there, get at it, have fun at your garden. Thanks for watching.